So fellows, today I wanted to talk about some news that could be absolutely huge for the underground. Our favorite they them rapper Lil Uzi Vert has finally announced that they're starting their own label. Now my first honest reaction to hearing this was, why hasn't he done this sooner? We've already seen the success of fellow rapper and full-time vampire Playboy Cardi's own record label Opium, his two biggest artists Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely, beyond taking over the underground in the last two years, have also helped to elevate Cardi's own career. And not that Uzi's career is falling off right anything like that, it's doing just fine. I'm just surprised that Uzi, someone who seems really enthusiastic about the underground and putting on smaller artists, hasn't started his own label sooner. But regardless, I'm still super excited to see it, so let's just jump right in. I first wanted to talk about... So just like Cardi with his own label, instead of just immediately signing an artist right off the bat, Uzi's starting out with a producer named Akachi. And I'll admit, I didn't know who the guy was until I heard about this signing, but I did recognize a few of the songs he produced. No massive hits or anything like that, but the guy clearly has talent, and I like to think that Uzi has a good ear for talent, so I am excited to see where this relationship will go. But now onto the topic that I really wanted to be the center of this video. Now, no disrespect to Akachi, but obviously Uzi just signing him isn't what I think is such a huge deal for the underground. It's the fact that Uzi is clearly going to be starting a roster of producers and artists, similar to what Cardi did with Opium. Cardi started out by signing producers such as Starboy and Gabe, and then eventually made his way into signing artists Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, and Homicide Gang. And if I had to guess, Uzi is probably following a similar plan with his own label. I'm not sure if it'll be before or after Pink Tape drops, but I'm guessing we'll see Uzi probably probably sign another producer or two, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll sign his first artist. And while we have seen a variety of rappers in the mainstream scene sign their own artists in the past two, three years, Uzi is a completely different animal in my opinion, having so much influence and just having such a massive reach. And if the cards are played right, Uzi's artist has the talent and brand and potential. I could totally see Uzi's artist becoming a new version of Ken Carson or Destroy Lonely, obviously with a different aesthetic from Opium but becoming another big time player in the underground. However, what I do think is definitely worth mentioning is that Cardi has already set an extremely high standard with rappers starting their own record label. Opium has obviously been extremely successful in the underground, and I'm sure people will be expecting the same from Uzi. And while I did say earlier that I do think Uzi has a good ear for talent, if their artist doesn't immediately pop off and come out with a bang, it could be catastrophic. And when I say catastrophic, I don't mean for Uzi's career. It would obviously take a lot for the Lil Uzi brand and hype to fall apart, but I'm talking about the artist. We already know that the underground is an extremely toxic place, and obviously that's why I love it, but for an upcoming artist who is getting their big break by being Lil Uzi's artist, as I said, Cardi already set the standards really high, and if Uzi's artist doesn't immediately pop off, we all know the underground is a toxic place. The artist could easily, just as quickly as they popped off because they signed the Uzi, become Lil Uzi's failed artist. Hopefully I won't have to make that video. But that's all I got for today's video. I'm curious what you guys think about this situation. Do you think that Uzi starting their own record label is a smart career move? Be sure to comment what you guys think down below. Thank you all so much for the support. Take it easy, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.